Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Husker Hot Takes, a weekly production from the Daily Nebraskan in which I, senior sports editor Landon Wirt, speaks with another person from the Daily Nebraskan about Husker football. And there were a lot of things that happened with Nebraska football this week. Um, very, very rude of them, uh, in my opinion, to, to have so much going on, not only during a bye week, but also during midterms week. But here we are on Wednesday. The dust has semi-settled after a weekend that can best be described as pure and utter chaos. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I am joined by senior opinion editor, Sydney Miller. We're matching. Kind of. Yep. This was definitely something that was planned. It uh, might be like anti-matching though, because the stripes and the plaid. That's true. That's might it's actually be bad. Not good levels of coordination. <laughs> but Sydney, welcome. Thank I'm, you. This is a very high honor at the Daily Nebraska. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, well, Nebraska football. Um, something that's always enjoyable to talk about. This time last Monday, uh, my Slack and Twitter just broke <laughs> because of all of the things that happened. First, in the afternoon, uh, Nebraska Athletic Director Trev Alberts announced that Scott Frost is staying, and then, a few hours later, four assistant coaches are fired. Um, all, all fun, all, all great things that are happening. Uh, Sydney, thoughts? Um, yeah, I wasn't 100% sure why they were firing um, everyone but Scott Frost, but, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go past that. You know, it already happened. Um, I thought it was very interesting that... Um, and Omaha World Herald, um, they supported the decision to keep Scott Frost on, and they said it's because, you know, he's a Nebraskan. Like, he feels the Huskers' pain. And it's like, man, he's causing the Huskers' pain. <laughs> um, but it really just seemed like Trev Alberts really just is just wants it to work so bad. Yeah. That's something that I can appreciate, I think. Um, you know, I've – I, I tried to refrain from co in, in columns this season from leaning one way or the other because at the end of the day, the athletic director is the one that makes the say. Monday was definitely a weird day starting with that editorial because it was like, okay, is this a sign of things that are about to happen? And then things just started happening. Um, you can definitely argue, I mean, even when Frost spoke after the Ohio State game, he listed off all those cities he's lived in in Nebraska. They do, they're, they are two guys that definitely really, really want this thing to work, and you have to appreciate, at least from that baseline level, that they're committed to doing that. But now it raises this interesting question of, what the heck is the rest of the season going to look like? Because... <laughs> Yeah, there's there's Scott Frost and the defensive coordinator and pretty much nothing else left. Yeah, I wish that um, my high school basketball coach would have had the same faith in me that Trev Alberts has in Scott Frost and not cut <laughs> me my senior year. But here we are. Um, yeah, what do you think the last two games are going to look like? I don't know. It's a weird vibe for sure because there are two games left against Nebraska's big rivals and it kind of feels like the season is just over already. Yeah. It's super freaky because... With all of this, like, it's almost like the white flag has been raised in the sense of, like, we're cutting our losses and starting over next year, which, because of, like, recruiting and stuff, that's something that they kind of had to do. But it's just so strange to me, and, like, seeing all these coaches who, I mean, I've covered Nebraska football for a couple of years. I have no clue who some of these analysts and assistants are. It's going to be a really, really weird scene um, and vibe. But, I mean, from the from an outsider's perspective, perspective ish Scott are you happy Scott Frost is coming back like what's the what's the general vibe are you ready to give Nebraska football one more chance next year to maybe not break hearts and be really depressing on Saturdays or what's what's the what's the vibe uh, there well my dad's a longtime Mariners fan so I'm really used to people getting their hopes up for like incremental changes season by season and then just getting disappointed and so I honestly think it's Maybe it'll work. I don't think it will, but it would be cool if it did. Yeah, that's that's uh, you know after after <laughs> seventy two hours of processing everything, I think that that just sums up my general headspace too. We'll see what happens. Um, a lot of Nebraska pundits and local media kind of share a similar opinion. It's very interesting too. The the restructured contract is something that even I didn't even talk about, but that's another odd thing too that the the contract is getting halved a little bit from what he was originally making to what he's making now. There's been too much happening, too much happening with Nebraska football, and all of this drama on a bye week is is just absolutely lovely. I know this hasn't been a, a very linear discussion, but <laughs> is there anything else that that you want to just 
bring up ask discuss Nebraska, I.e. Yeah. Nebraska football <laughs> um I just want to say Scott Frost um Adrian Martinez anyone on the Husker football team watching this please please win I really want my free runza I have been deprived of my free runza for so many weeks now and I just I really need it so please do it for me and my runza this this platform <laughs> for free runzas this is the the cornerstone of what Oscar Hot Takes was founded upon. <laughs> this is what it's all about, truly. Uh, that's that's all I have. That's all I got this week. Sydney, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciated the discussion. It was not super linear, but <laughs> we got there and we got to the central point, which is Nebraska season might kind of be over. Bull eligibility is out of reach, but there are two more opportunities for free runs up, which is the most important thing at the end of the day. Uh, for Landon Wirt, this is Sydney Miller. Signing off, Husker Hot Takes.